Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to show you my ultimate eyeshadow tutorial for hooded, drooping, sagging eyelids and how to make them look not hooded, not drooping, and not sagging. Along with a full face get ready with me for a holiday party look that's actually wearable. This is a look that I did in a video in which I talked about my eyelids, how I've been able to kind of fix them over the last four years. In that video, I said that I was going to be linking the eyeshadow tutorial for the look I was wearing that day and well, it was right before Thanksgiving and then the holidays kind of came and I forgot to do it. And so I just remembered it today and I thought, oh, what a great video to put up right between Christmas and New Year's because this is a very wearable holiday party look and it really makes your eyes look much more youthful. So that is the look that we're going for today. The products that I used are all the exact same products that I used to do my face in that video. So I wasn't really trying to keep this under a certain price point. Some of these are super duper high end because I use that La Mer um, foundation that I had just reviewed and I actually kind of like it so I kept it and I keep using it. But if you're interested in how to get a very similar look for much much less money I just did Tati's Nothing Over Five Dollars tag and in that I did a very similar look to this and it came out really great. So I'll put the link to that video right up here so you can pop over and look at that one. So it just demonstrates that you can get the same look whether you use high end or low end. So let's get started with the tutorial. First step for this tutorial is to prime the skin. Today I'm using my Laura Mercier foundation primer. This is the original formula. I take about a pea size amount of that and I just spread it all over my face with my fingers. I start in the center where I need more primer coverage and then I just spread that out to the outside edges of my face. For my foundation today, I'm using La Mer, the Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. I have it in the color Sand number 23. I'm going to just take one pump of that on the back of my hand. I'm going to spread it around my face with my fingers and then I'm going to use a dampened nude colored beauty blender to pounce that into my skin. But I love the beauty blender for application. I think it just gives a much more flawless, uh, much more even, much more natural look with the makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on both sides. Make sure I'm all even. Make sure that your neck and your earlobes match your face by spreading a little bit of the foundation onto those areas using the blending sponge. Next, I prime my eyelids so that the primer has a second to set up. I use the Tarte Clean Slate 360 degree creaseless 12 hour smoothing eye primer. This is a great one, especially for older hooded crepey lids. I just put a little bit of that on the back of my hands and I spread that onto my lids with my fingers. You gotta be careful not to use too much of this because it will have kind of a white, almost chalky dry down if you put on too much and it will crease into the um, fold of your eye. In any get ready with me, I like to apply a little lip plumper. This is Soap and Glory Pillow Plump XXL Sexy Mother Pucker. And I just put that on and let that work its magic while I do the rest of the makeup. Next up is under eye concealer. Today I'm using Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. And this is in the color R32. I'm testing this with some other under eye concealers for an upcoming video in early 2017. I use an Ulta eyeliner brush to apply my under eye concealer. I start at the inner corner and I make a small triangle shape to cover uh, my bag and inner corner discoloration. Then I add a little bit more at the outer corner. And then using the same beauty blender, I just pounce that under the eye area, blending out the concealer. If I have a little concealer left on the back of my hand, I'll apply that at the corners of my nose and down the nasal labial folds just to brighten those up so that they don't look so deep and dark and crevice like in there. And again, using the beauty blender to blend that out into the foundation. And since we're going to be contouring today, I use a little bit of the concealer as well to uh, highlight the center of my nose and blend that with a beauty blender as well. I like to set my under eye concealer right away. The longer you let the concealer sit there without any powder to set it, uh, the better chance it has to get into our wrinkles and cracks and crevices. I'm using uh, IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores HD Translucent Powder today and an e.l.f. blush brush. Lightly tap that beneath my eyes. So next we're going to do a little contouring. For the dark part of the contouring, I'm going to use NYX Wonder Stick. This is in the color Universal. I love this. It's so easy to work with. I basically just uh, scribble it around my forehead, draw a line out from my ear, 
uh, underneath my cheekbones to define my cheek and also underneath my jawbone to visually, visually, I can't say visually today, to visually lift up any sagging skin that you might have at the jawline. Then I'm using this awesome new brush that I just got in a Sonia Kashuk kit. This is a great brush. I love doing my blending out my contouring with this. Blend out the contouring on my forehead, underneath my cheeks, underneath my chin, so that it comes out looking really nice and natural and completely blended. Then I do a little bit of contouring on my nose where I have my little field hockey ball bump from high school. And then I use the same brush to just blend it down. For my blush today, I'm gonna to be using the Wander Beauty On The Glow Blush. This is a two-end blush and highlighter. The blush is in Coral Rose. So I'm just going to drag that down my cheeks, starting up high at the temple and coming forward, not quite to the full apple of my cheek, but just underneath the middle of my eye. And then I'm going to use my Real Technique stippling brush to blend that out. Using small circular motions, I blend it down into my bronzer and also up onto my temple and bringing it a little bit forward onto the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to be using the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator today in Gilded Honey for my highlight. Love this stuff. And the brush that I'm putting it on with is another Beauty Junkies brush. This is from their br contouring brush kit. This is the Pro Highlighter brush. So I start back in my hairline about the same place as I started the blush, but I put on the highlighter slightly higher than the blush, so it really just hits the tops of my cheekbones, and then I draw it forward in kind of a curved line that curves up a little bit following the natural curve of my cheek, and then I just give it a little swirl on the front apple of my cheek, and then I blend that in. All right, now for the fun part, the eyeshadow. Today I'm using my MAC X15 Nordstrom Now palette, and I'm using Beauty Junkies Pro Blending Brush, dipping that into the second color on the top row and packing it onto the movable part of my lid. So I really wanna lighten up that movable lid and make it look really white so that it pops forward. Really, I'm gonna pack a lot of color on there. I'm gonna dip back into the color between each application. For above the crease, I'm gonna use my MAC 221 blending brush and the middle color in the top row of the palette. I'm gonna reach over with my other hand and pull up gently on my eyelid so that I can remove any creases or wrinkles from that skin and give myself a nice smooth palette to work with. And I'm just gonna draw that color back and forth above the crease. I don't wanna to touch that white part of the entire movable lid that I just created. Uh, so you're gonna keep it above the natural crease and then blend it up higher towards the eyebrow. I'm gonna repeatedly apply more of that color, dipping back into the eyeshadow palette. If you are worried about fallout because you've just finished your makeup, you can hold the lid of the palette underneath your eye, apply the color from the inner corner of my eyebrow right underneath my brow in a straight line to the outer corner of my brow. That is gonna take that puffy part of the skin that does sag and uh, fold forward and it's gonna put a little bit of a shadow on it so that it looks like it recedes. So you can see already that the movable part of my lid is visually popping forward, and where I've put this nice mid-tone fawny color, that part is already starting to recede and hang back visually. Next, I'm gonna use my Beauty Junkies Pro Pencil Brush, and I'm gonna dip into the color in the middle row, second from the left. Again, I'm gonna lift up on my eyebrow, and I'm gonna use that pencil brush just to place the tiny bit of this medium gray color into the crease. This is where we're really gonna dig that color way into the crease and really define that cut crease. You don't wanna have a lot of color here. You don't wanna use a really dark color here. It's very simple, it's very subtle, but in its simplicity and its subtlety, man, does it pack a punch. All right, next I'm gonna use my Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush and blend that out. There really isn't a lot of blending to be done here today because these colors are so pale and these brushes are so nice that they are almost blended already, but it's always nice to blend just to be sure that everything looks nice and seamless. Now to turn this from an everyday look into uh, more of a glam party look. I'm using my Japanese 213 brush and the pale gold shimmer color at the far left in the middle row of the palette. And I'm just applying that right over where the palest color was on the movable part of my lid only. Then I'm using the same Japanese brush and dipping it into the color next to the gold one that we used 
way deep in the crease and I'm just using that to do a little bit of a very soft subtle eyeliner underneath my eyes. I want to keep the under eyes just as bright as the top. I don't want to go in with heavy dark eyeliner because that tends to close your eye down. I just drag that out at the corners. I'm starting to define where I'm going to put my little wing. I'm going to be lining the lower lashes. For this I'm using a Sephora pencil. This is the Contour Brushed Metal Gel Eyeliner. It's waterproof and this is in silver coin. Line the inner waterline as well as a little bit below my lashes. Then I just add a little bit of that into the inner corner to add a little shimmer and light at the inner corner of my eye. For the upper waterline, I'm going to use my Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear. This is also a waterproof crayon. This one is in Fifth Avenue. This is a matte gray. Um, I just pull up on my eyelashes and I draw that right at the base of my eyelashes. So I'm using the blob technique here. I just leave a little blob of the pencil at the outer corner there. And then I use just any flat brush, the kind that comes on a spoolie, and I just give it a little flick out and that is my template for where I'm going to put my liquid liner. I'm going to go in now with the liquid liner, which is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. This is in 01 Black. I basically just dotted along right at the edge of my lashes from the inner corner to the outer corner. Then I turn it the other way towards my eyebrow and I press it against where I just made that little template with the eyeliner pencil, draw it back to meet up with the other eyeliner, and then I just connect the wing because the wing really is almost like just a little wedge at the outside there. Next step is to curl the eyelashes. This is an amazing eyelash curler by Trim. It was like three dollars. It's the best eyelash curler I have ever used. I can't believe it. I love this thing. For the eyelashes today, I'm using Lancome Sil Booster, my favorite primer. It's white. I just go ahead and paint that on my eyelashes and it helps to give them a little extra oomph. Today I'm actually going to deviate from the mascara that I usually used and the one that I used in the previous video, which was Lancome Hypnose Drama. That's my go-to drama uh, mascara. But I recently received the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and I had never used it and I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try in this video. So let's see how it goes. Um, this is in black and oh my gosh, am I making a mess of it? I'm getting it all over my eyelid and I gotta say, hmm, it's not really cutting it for me the way the hypnose drama does, but oh well. Oh my gosh, look how much is on my eyelid. If you ever get mascara on your upper lid when you're putting on your mascara, don't worry, just let it dry completely. Go ahead and finish your mascara and come back in a few minutes with a dry Q-tip and it will easily just wipe right away. Uh, you know, it's not bad mascara. They're big, they're bold, they're dramatic. On to the lips. So first I'm going to blot off my lip plumper using just a plain old tissue. The lip liner that I'm going to use to Today is my favorite. It's a drugstore lip liner. It's Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner. This one is in East End Snob, one of my favorite colors. Um, this is a great lip liner. It makes my lipstick last almost all day and it makes it not feather up into my little lip wrinkles there. So that is awesome. So I actually don't just do the outline. I fill in my entire lip because, you know, it kind of does change the color of your lipstick and I find that it makes my lipstick wear so much better. So the lipstick I wore that day was my Too Faced La Creme lipstick in Spice Spice Baby, one of my all-time favorites. I especially love it with this Rimmel lip liner. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on the lipstick. This is such a beautiful shade of pink. It's not too brown. It's not too rosy. It's not too blue. It is just perfect and I love it for kind of a natural glam makeup look. For the brows today, I'm going to use Too Faced Brow Envy Brow Shaping and Defining Kit. This is a brow stencil kit. I use the stencil called Too Pretty and I use the shade of brow powder called Blonde. To apply this, I use a Sigma E45 small tapered blending brush and run the powder along my eyebrow and I just kind of slop this on there. <laughs> any old way. I love these templates. It keeps your eyebrows contained yet looking better than they are. And then I go ahead with a nice spoolie, comb the powder through my eyebrows. Then I go in with the eyeliner side of my spoolie brush into the highlighter powder that's contained with the kit. And I'm just going to do a little highlighter right underneath the brow bone. Two final steps to make the makeup last through the entire New Year's Eve party, and that is to set the face with some setting powder. I don't do my entire face, I just do a little bit here and there. Between my eyebrows, a little bit on the end of my nose, 
a little bit on the fronts of my cheeks, a little bit on my chin. So I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores HD Powder again and the same e.l.f. blush brush. I don't want to look overly powdery. I still want to look dewy and fresh. Then I'm going to give a spritz of setting spray to set the whole thing. This is e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Uh, this is very inexpensive, $3 product that works great. It doesn't contain any drying alcohol, but it does contain vitamins A, C, and E, aloe, and cucumber, and green tea. So a nice setting spray. I give myself a little spritz of that, and now I am ready to go. So that's it, and here's the finished look. I think it's a really pretty party look, and it's definitely something that every time I wear my eyeshadow like this, you guys start commenting that I've had an eyelid surgery, or what is my secret? What have I done to my eyelids? So now you can do it for yourself too. So it's a great trick to use every single day. If you don't want to do a glam shadow look like this, you can just skip the shimmer and skip the liquid eyeliner and you're good to go for every single day. All the links to all the products will be in the information box below the video. Just click that show more button down there and it will open. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe if you want to see more from my channel coming up in 2017. So thanks everybody for watching. You know, I always appreciate your time and I will see you in the next video. So take care everybody. Bye-bye.